Vicky is shown for the backing of Printer Section A. Welcome you all in today's program. March is the month of remembrance and observance. Today is 26 March, our Independence Day. Bangladesh is celebrating its 51st anniversary of independence. The nation is celebrating the country's declaration of war of independence from Pakistan in the early 26 March 1971 from the leader of our nation, Bungu Bundu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. To get independence, many people have sacrificed their lives. And to honor their memory and sacrifice, there is National Martyrs Memorial, built in Sarwar. This monument is composed of seven towers or seven pairs of walls. Each of these represents an important chapter of Bangladesh. Now, we will come to know about historical significance of this monument. Now, my friends will introduce themselves. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. I'm Sam now from Grade 4, Section B. Today, I'm representing the pillars of language movement in 1952. The Bengali language movement was a political movement. The East Pakistan, along with Urdu, Bangla was also demanded to the state language of Pakistan. On 21st February 1952, a strike was called all over Pakistan and government imposed Section 144. The students of Dhaka University protested it all and came out with a procession from campus. The police opened fire and so many people including Salam, Barkat, Rofik, Jabbar and Shofi lost their lives. Now, 21st February is observed as International Mother Language Day. The language movement of 1952 gave birth to Bengali nationalism. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Sabah Kakin from Grade 4, Section B. Today, I am representing the pillar of 1954. In the election of East Bengal Legislative Assembly held in March 1954, the United Front won with 223 seats out of 237 Muslim seats, whereas the ruling Muslim League managed to bag only 9 seats. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muhammad Izan Alam from Grade 2 Section C. I am representing the pillar of the Constitution of 1956. The Constitution of 1956 provided for the parliamentary form of government where real executive authority was vested in a cabinet, collectively responsible to the legislature. In the constitution of 1956, Bangla was recognized as one of the state languages of Pakistan. I am representing the pillar of education movement in 1962. On September 17, 1962, students took to speak vehemently opposing inter-colonial Pakistani government's unequal and exclusionary national education policy, a policy that was built on the assumption that education for all is a utopian idea. Assalamu alaikum everyone, I'm Rewati Taraman from Grade 5, Section E, and today I'm going to represent the pillar of 1966. In 1966, the Army League announced the six-point demand to do reduce disparity towards Bengals. Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman placed this charter of demands in Lahore Conference of Opposition Parties, held on 5th February 1966. It is considered a milestone on the road to Bangladesh's independence. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum everyone. My name is Zunara Hayat and I'm from Grade 5 Section A. Today, I'm representing the pillar of 1969. The 1969 uprising was a democratic political movement in East Pakistan, now known as Bangladesh. The uprising consisted of a series of mass demonstrations and sporadic conflicts between the government armed forces and the demonstrators. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. I am Tasneem Sal from Grade 5 Section D and I am representing the pillar of Liberation War in 1971. Bangladesh Liberation War is also known as the War of Independence, which was a revolution and armed conflict sparked by the rise of nationalists and self determination movement in what was in East Pakistan during the 1971. The war began after Pakistan military launched Operation Searchlight and carried out genocide in Bangladesh. 
On the night of 25th March 1971, Bangabundu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman was arrested. But he declared the independence of Bangladesh just the moment before he was arrested. The war ended on 16 December 1971 after West Pakistan surrendered.